Look at yourself, man. Look at yourself. What am I going to do today to change what I see in this mirror? I'm trying to find more of myself. And the only way I can find more is to silence the world out as much as I can because it's, it's, it's getting busier every day. It's getting faster. I put my phone away and I go dark. I go dark a lot and it's because I have to find out I'm on a journey of life and we all have a different journey. I like to take this four lane highway, the easy highway. We all love that four lane highway. We always step over the shovel. That shovel, I made my own path. But going through this path of life, this journey over here that you make yourself, that's incredibly difficult and we're afraid. It's easier to accept the fact that I'm just not good enough. You have to go into those dark chambers that we often shut off and you got to open them up. Fail and you're going to be in your head. You're going to be saying, I'm not good enough. And it's how you get through that. It's how you get through that on a daily basis when that thing is saying, man, I'm 43. I've done so much. You start to become civilized. The refrigerator gets full. You start get, making money and you start, I'm not getting cold anymore. I'm retired. At 40, people shouldn't be playing basketball or football. Or At 43, I'm still putting 100 mile weeks, still doing thousands of pull-ups, thousands of push-ups, because I'm not allowing myself to become civilized. The worst thing that can happen to a man is become civilized. You want to be uncommon amongst uncommon people, period. You start putting yourself in situations that suck, you'll find yourself. I'm big on being with yourself. I want to be forever proud of who I was as a man and change who I used to be. The liar, the insecure guy, the guy who can, whatever. I want to be proud. When I, if I die now, if I die at 8, if I die at 90, 100, I'm going to look at myself and say, I'm proud of myself. I believe in patience. I'm a patient dude. I can watch a piece of grass grow for 20 years. Because I know that this is how you get somewhere in life. By being that monk-like mentality. Being able to watch something grow very calmly, patiently. Well, I, I can't go any faster. We do that to our brain. We put a governor on our brain. The second we feel pain, discomfort, suffering. All those words that we hate to say because we're in this happy, peaceful world we live in now. We stop. We slow down. And if you can get through these different barriers and gain 5%, 2%, 3%, that 40% becomes 60. At 60%, you become 70, 80, and 90. And then you'll hopefully one day near 100. That, that dreamer mentality just would always fuel me. It would just fuel me, man. What if I can be, what if I can be a SEAL, man? I'm now, now I run 205 miles. What, what, what if I can go? But just what if I can go and, and, and what if, how would that feel? You have to go into those dark chambers that we often shut off and you got to open them up. Be the hero of your own movie. If your life was a movie and it started now, forget about whatever financial disasters you've had, personal failures, relationship failures. What would the hero of your life's movie do right now? Do that. Do those things. We define ourselves far too often by our past failures. We look at our past and we say, well, that's me. That's not you. You are this person right now. You're the person who's learned from those failures. And you can choose to be the hero of your own movie right now. Write down your goals. Write down things you want to improve. Write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. Write down things that you've done in the past you never want to see yourself do again. And go forth from here as the hero of your own movie. Build momentum. Build confidence and momentum with each good decision that you make from here on out. You can do it. Anyone can do it.